Envision a world where aging is not a gradual deterioration, but a condition that can be reversed. It may seem like a step towards immortality, doesn't it? However, what if I revealed that this future is nearer than we anticipate, and the solution to this enigma is already within our reach? We are on the brink of a revolution in how we understand and approach the human aging process, thanks to pioneering research by scientists like David Sinclair. In his book Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To, Sinclair doesn't just offer hope, he provides evidence that the aging clock can not only be slowed down but potentially reversed. That's right, you heard me correctly. We can reverse aging and extend our lifespan, not just by a few years, but by decades. But what does this mean for us? How does it change our perception of life, health, and longevity? Today's video peels back the layers of scientific jargon to uncover the core of Sinclair's research. We'll explore the biological mechanisms contributing to aging, the lifestyle changes we can adopt to influence these processes, and the cutting-edge technologies that might soon transform our approach to health and longevity. Get ready to delve into the forefront of scientific discovery, where we'll unravel the intricate dance of genes, molecules, and lifestyle choices that shape our lifespan. From the promise of supplements like NMN and resveratrol to the transformative effects of intermittent fasting and reduced caloric intake, we'll explore strategies that could significantly enhance our quality of life and extend our healthy years. As you reach the end of this journey, you'll find yourself pondering, are we on the cusp of an era where growing old becomes a choice? And how might this reshape the future for generations to come? The first thing you need to know is that aging is not inevitable. It's not a natural process that we have to accept and endure. It's actually a disease that we can prevent and treat. Dr. Sinclair explains that aging is caused by accumulating damage to our DNA, which is the blueprint of life. Every time our cells divide, copy, or repair themselves, they make mistakes that result in mutations, errors, and breaks in our DNA. These mistakes are like typos in a book. If you have a few typos, the book is still readable and understandable. But if you have too many typos, the book becomes unreadable and meaningless. Similarly, if our DNA has too much damage, our cells lose their ability to function properly and communicate with each other. This leads to inflammation, disease, and death. Aging, quite simple, is a loss of information. David Sinclair. But here's the good news. Our DNA has a built-in spell checker to correct these mistakes and repair the damage. This spell checker is called the Sirtuins, and they are the key to longevity and reverse aging. Sirtuins are a family of enzymes that regulate many aspects of our biology, such as metabolism, inflammation, stress response, and DNA repair. They act like guardians of our genome, protecting it from damage and keeping it stable. When Sirtuins are activated, they can slow down and even reverse the aging process by repairing the DNA reducing inflammation, boosting energy, and enhancing cellular function. But how do we activate sirtuins? Well, that's where the second concept from the book comes in. Hormesis is the phenomenon that a low dose of stress or damage can stimulate a beneficial response in our body. For example, when we exercise, we cause micro-tears in our muscles, which trigger them to grow bigger and stronger. Similarly, when we expose our body to mild stress or damage, such as fasting, cold exposure, or heat shock, we activate our sirtuins, which then repair the DNA and enhance our health and longevity. Dr. Sinclair calls these mild stressors longevity molecules because they mimic the effects of calorie restriction, which is the most proven way to extend lifespan in animals and humans. Some of the most common and effective longevity molecules are resveratrol, which is found in red wine. NAD, which is a coenzyme that fuels sirtuins, and metformin, which is a diabetes drug that lowers blood sugar and inflammation. But that's not all. There's one more concept from the book that I want to share with you, and it's the most exciting and controversial one. It's called reprogramming, and it's the idea that we can reset our age and rejuvenate our cells. If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more insights, and share this video. Reprogramming is the process of changing the identity and function of a cell by altering its gene expression. For example, we can take a skin cell and reprogram it into a stem cell, which can then become any cell type in the body. This is how cloning works. 
We can take a cell from an adult animal, reprogram it into a stem cell, and then implant it into an egg, which can then develop into a new animal that is genetically identical to the original one. But what if we could do this without cloning? What if we could reprogram our cells in vivo, meaning inside our body, without removing them or creating a new organism? Well, that's exactly what Dr. Sinclair and his team have done. They are working with a set of genes that can reprogram any cell in the body, and they have successfully used them to reverse aging in mice. These genes are called Yamanaka factors, and they are the same genes that are used to create stem cells in the lab. By introducing these genes into the cells of old mice, they were able to reset their age and restore their youthful function. The mice that were treated with Yamanaka factors had improved vision, cognition, mobility, and lifespan. They literally became younger and healthier. This is the most radical and revolutionary discovery in the field of aging and longevity, and it has huge implications for human health and medicine. Imagine if we could use Yamanaka factors to reprogram our cells and reverse aging in humans. We could potentially cure age-related diseases, regenerate organs and tissues, and live longer and better lives. Of course, this is still very experimental and risky, and many ethical and social issues must be addressed. But Dr. Sinclair believes that this is the future of medicine, and that we are on the verge of a longevity revolution. So, what have we learned from the book Lifespan by David Sinclair? 1. We've learned that aging is not inevitable, but a disease that we can prevent and treat. 2. We've learned that we have the power to activate our body's natural defense systems against aging and that we can even reverse it and rejuvenate our cells. 3. We've learned that we can live longer and better lives, not by slowing down or accepting our fate, but by taking action and challenging ourselves. But how can we do this? How can we apply the concepts from the book to our own life? Well, here are some practical tips that you can start implementing today. First, eat less and eat better. Reduce your calorie intake, avoid processed foods, and eat more plant-based foods. This will activate your sirtuins and lower your inflammation and blood sugar. Second, exercise more and exercise smarter. Do a combination of aerobic and anaerobic exercises, such as running, cycling, swimming, lifting weights, or doing HIIT. This will cause micro damage to your muscles and organs, which will trigger your sirtuins and DNA repair. Third, expose yourself to mild stress or damage, such as fasting, cold exposure, or heat shock. This will stimulate your sirtuins and hormesis, and enhance your metabolism and stress response. Fourth, stay curious and optimistic. Learn new things, challenge yourself, and embrace change. This will keep your brain and mind young and flexible, and prevent cognitive decline and depression. And finally, be part of the longevity revolution. Follow the latest research and developments in the field of aging and longevity, and support the efforts of scientists and innovators who are working to make this a reality for everyone. By following these tips, you can take control of your aging and your life, and enjoy the benefits of a longer and healthier lifespan. So, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave your comments, and share it with your friends and family. And if you want to learn more about the book Lifespan by David Sinclair, I highly recommend reading it. It's a fascinating and inspiring read, and it will change the way you think about aging in life.